Hello everyone. So in the last class, we have discussed about uh, how can we call a method inside one more method. And uh, how can we give the input parameters to the method, right? Fine. I will copy the uh, same uh, code and I will create more program here. Here I am just passing to and click on create button. And now I'm pasting here, same code copy pasting here. And here, uh, so what I'm taking uh, in the public section, I'm taking something attributes A and B and methods. I'm taking get data, input parameters. I'm taking here. So as of now, I'm not taking any input parameters. I will, I will take it a bit later. And uh, methods, okay, uh, methods uh, display data, get data and display data. Two methods and two attributes. I'm taking all are an instance method only. Okay, two methods are instance methods and two attributes are instance attributes. Now what I will do, uh, here I will take something constant also. Okay. I have taken on constant C type I value 25 something. And after that one here in the first method, Something that is coming, fine, no issue. Uh, here I'm manually passing the data. Something 10. Twenty something I am passing like this. Fine. Now, so by using uh, display data, I can display the data. So let me check it. And uh, okay, something get data does not have any parameters. Okay. Uh, let me check it once again. There is no issue. Click on activate button. It's activated. Execute it. Okay, I'm giving something 74 and something 58, something giving. Click on execute button. Now 10 and 20 is coming because I'm hard coding the value in the method. Right? So here I'm just passing A equal to 10 and B equal to 20. I'm passing. Fine. Now I want to create one more object for it. So how can I create, first declare the object data obj2 type ref2, the class name, I mean lcl test one and create the object here. Right? So object two is created now. Right now, what I will do? Write obj2 a comma obj2 b a comma b. I am displaying object two. Right. So uh, my intention is here. I am taking from obj1. Okay. Here obj1 get data. I am displaying. So by using this one how the data will come, the data will come like this 10 and 20, right? And I am displaying A and B by using 
object to then what will happen so here the system will create one more memory for this object to okay object to means here how many instance components are there for those all things it will create some separate memory so let me do something here i'm taking something here uh, the instance parameter instance uh, attribute right and uh, here uh, this is the object one and i am updating the value by using method like 10 and 20 right we can see the same thing here so 10 and 20 i'm passing by using the method right now i'm creating one more object here and i'm calling a and b right from object to i'm calling the a and b attributes at that time system will create some more memory for this uh, a and b okay with respect to object two so this is a and this is b right and now this is the object two okay, this is object two the value will be empty because i am i'm just calling this a and b so memory allocation has done but I, i'm not passing any values here so what will happen the value will be zero zero right now my requirement is so whatever the object one has updated the values for A and B at the, at the last time. So at those values, I want to pick here. Okay, here 10 and 20, it, it was updated the, at the last time. So I want to copy these values to this object two also. So first of all, let me execute this one. Then we will come uh, here. And so I'm just calling from object two, A and B, activate it and execute it. So here parameters not required right so come back i will keep i will keep it in comment the parameter so activate it once again is good this program now we can see 10 and 20 right what i am doing right slash Execute it once again. Now we can see 10 and 20 is coming from object one. Now I'm displaying the data from object two. At the time, zero, zero is coming. Now I want to copy whatever the uh, values have uh, modified from object to one at the last time. Those values I want to copy and I want to uh, update to object two. So at the time, how can we do? Uh, here I will do one thing object 2 is equal to object 1. So if we pass like this, object 2 is equal to object 1. In the object 1, whatever the instance attributes are there, whatever the value it has updated at the last time, those all things will update uh, to the object 2 also. So let me check it here, check it and activate it and execute it. Now we can see 10 and 20 is the last updated from object one. So those values are copying and pasting to the object two also. So same values are coming like this, 10 and 20. Okay, so, so in real time, we, we can see something like this, object two equal to object one, what is like this, 
okay means the uh, the mem i mean the values whatever has updated at the last time those all values will move from object 1 to object 2 okay so that is the concept here and so find and i want to one more thing here for example uh, these properties are in public section fine okay now i will make uh, this data as class data so class data means this is the static attribute here i have mentioned only data means this is the only uh, i mean instance attribute and coming to here this is the this is the constant one and here So get data is coming here and display data is coming here. So what I will do, I will make it a class method. Okay, class methods and this is the instance method. Okay, and This is static method. Okay, instance method and static method. Till now we have discussed about instance method only. We didn't discuss about the static method, right? And here in the in the, in the instance method, okay, in the instance method, I want to uh, display something. So instance method calling. Right, so instance method calling here and uh, here the display data. So this is the static method calling. Right now, I'm creating something object here, VBZ1, and I'm calling the methods get data and display data. Right. So let me check it here. Something. Let me check now. Check and activate it. It's activated. Now execute this one. So at the time, what will happen? So in the first line, instance method, instance method calling, and the second line, static method calling will come. So just execute it here. We can see instance method calling and static method calling, right? Fine. Now, I want to pass something value to A, B, and C, and I'm, I want to display the data also. Okay? So at that time, what we can do here? Okay. A is equal to 10. Okay. A equal to 10, I am passing, and B is equal to 20. Okay, and C is the constant, so there is no issue for this one. Let me check it here. One minute. Okay, fine. This is okay, fine instance. And here I will try to pass by using the object one. Okay, so obj1 a is equal to 10 and obj1 b is equal to 20. Now, uh, I want to display a, b, and c also from this uh, object one. Okay, so now what I will do, write obj1 a comma, obj1, 
B comma OBJ one C. Okay. Now let me check it here. There is no syntax error and activate it. So A is then B equal to 20 and C is equal to here constant value 25 is coming. So activate and execute it. So here instance method calling fine and after that one I'm using 10, 20, 25. Three variables values I'm passing here. Fine, correct. Now, so this is the like this. Now what I will do? I will use by using the class name also. Okay, so by using the class name uh, LCL underscore is to one. Okay, so if you're using something uh, a class name, then we need to maintain like this equal to arrow mark. We need to maintain like this, and the method name is get data, right? So get data I'm passing like this, and uh, let me check it. It is doing something. Uh, red mark here. Let me check it here. So it is showing something error like LCL test one get data is invalid. Check the spelling. I think something uh, class name. I will copy. So LCL test one copying and I will paste it here. Right and call method. I need to write. Okay, call method now. Click on check button. There is no issue. I think it is showing something error. Class method can only be specified with static methods. Okay, but this is the this is not a static method. Get data. So get data. See where is this one? Get data. Get data method is the instance method. So instance method, we cannot call like this. By using the class name, we cannot call. So that is what uh, I want to show here. And the same thing, I will go for one more method, display data. I will keep it in comment. Now check it, activate it, it's activated now. I mean, it is not showing any error because so the display data, this is the static method. That is why it is not displaying anything here. This is not uh, showing any error message here. So it is activated and if I execute this one, it will execute the data. Fine. And at the same time, what I will do, LCL square is to one, right? So, uh, here, a is equal to something 89. Okay. By using the class name, I'm updating something value for A. But A is the instance. A is the instance attribute. Right? A is the instance attribute. And by using the class name, I'm trying to update the A value. And let me check it here. So it is showing something error. The class name attribute can only be specified with static attributes means so by using the class name or by using the class name we cannot change or we cannot call the instance attributes okay so i will keep it in comment and b is equal to i will put something data here 84 now let me check it here so it is not showing any error message because so B is the static one, static attribute, right? Static attribute and one more C also is there, right? So C, we cannot, I mean, modify the, I mean, uh, we cannot modify the C value because C is the constant. So 25 is there, we cannot modify this one. We can display the data, okay? We can display the data. Right, LCL test one. See, okay, let me check it here. So, right, let me check now. There is no issue, okay. It is accepting the static, uh, uh, I mean, the class name is accepting the constant also and it is accepting the static attributes also 
and static method also okay so let me do one thing so in by using class name okay by using class name we can we can call static components comma constants right by using the class name we can call the static components component is nothing but i mean it may come like attribute and it may come methods events whatever it is okay just i have used the common word components so attribute methods also will come in this component and the constants also we can use okay by using the class name by using object name we can call instance components static components constants okay we can call anything by using the object name okay but by using the class name we can call only static components and constants okay other than these two things we cannot do anything only static components and only constants it will allow by using the class name okay maybe it will be helpful fine and now what i will do uh, as i told in the last class so in the local class okay in the local class uh, we don't create i mean in the, in the programs the ac38 program we don't create the local classes maximum so we will go for a uh, global class only okay in real time we will go for global classes mostly so fine and i will create one global class here so how can we create a global class the transaction code is sc24 okay sc24 is the standard i mean the transaction code for the creating the class the here object type is coming and here jcl okay so we need to follow some naming standards here jcl jcl i mean the name must should start with y or z and i am creating something class so cl i am writing and after that one uh, i want to display something company information okay t001 and click on create button okay and here it is asking something description whenever we are creating any program or function module whatever it is based on the transaction level it will ask the description in the same way here also it is asking the uh uh description for the class okay so this is a company information okay and we can see here something uh instance i mean uh the sec visibility sections are there right so for that one public protect private section for the class level okay and here something uh usual abap class and extension class and see here something final we will discuss it bit later okay now we are in the starting stage so these things these concepts will come bit later so just as of now just click on save button okay local object only fine here it is it is showing something method okay and we can see something tabs here some properties interfaces friends attributes methods events types alias so like this okay uh in the local program or in the local class we have 
we have declared some methods and some uh, attributes we have declared and we have used those things methods and attributes we have used right so same thing i will i will uh, take it here okay the method name i will take it as the get data okay get data and here uh, what is the level here okay click an f4 button then we can see some options like instance and static so we already know in the class level we are providing in the local class we have we have declared something public section protected section like that in the same way here also we need to mention this one uh, externally for, for for each and every method so this method is instance or static okay but in the local program it's not like that only one time we will, we will write the instance i mean i mean sorry uh, this is the instance and static right so uh, in the local class also we need to maintain method or class method like that okay so then only system can get to know this is the instance or static method like that so i am maintaining something instance here and the visibility is coming so visibility is the public protect private so like that it will come here right public protect private like that it is coming and now uh, i i mean uh, this method i want to make it in the public section only okay public section and if you want to give something description you can give here okay so this is getting the data company information right company information i'm getting the data here and i want to display the data also in the same method so i want to give something input here okay i want to give something input so how can we give the input in the local program see here methods i am taking get data i am taking and after that one importing is there so in the importing uh, i underscore a and type i like that it is coming now my requirement is uh, i i'm uh, i want to get something data from tw01 table uh company information the input is the country key based on the country key i want to fetch the company information here okay so i am implementing this one by using the global class so here i want to give something import parameter so where can i go for import parameter here there is no option okay method name level visibility description is there right and here something parameters is there So if we click on these parameters, then importing, exporting parameters, we can add to this method. Okay, let me do. Let me click on parameters here. So it is asking the parameter name. I am giving here something uh, i underscore something country. Okay, country. Fine. And the data element. Okay, we need to provide something here. Importing or exporting like that. so our changing returning uh, we will discuss about changing and returning bit later and as of now i am i am uh, discussing about the importing okay so this method has to import the country key so i am importing here and associated type what is the data element for this one land one so this is the country key the description is coming automatically here okay and uh, here something pass by value pass by reference is there i think you already know about pass by value and pass by reference so in the function module level we have learned this one okay pass by value pass by reference like that and here if you want to make it the pass by value then you can you can select it otherwise not required okay and this is the optional or not i mean uh, so so here so uh, here method method name and importing i underscore a type i am mentioning here so while calling this method okay while calling this method here object one get data in Uh, exporting i underscore e equal to p underscore e. I will I will keep it in common, right? So let me check it here. It is showing something error. No value was passed to the mandatory parameter i underscore e. 
so this is the mandatory parameter here okay here this is the mandatory parameter mm -hmm. so now what i will do i don't want to keep i don't want to keep it as a mandatory parameter i want to keep it as an optional one so at that time i will write here something optional okay if i write this one like this then uh, i am not passing anything value to i underscore a now let me check it here so it is not showing any error because i have mentioned the importing parameter i underscore a type i and optional so if i am not passing if i am not passing the value to this i underscore a then it is not showing any error okay and at the same time i underscore b this is the mandatory thing i underscore b is a mandatory thing because i am not maintaining the optional keyword for this one right now uh, where is this one here i will maintain like this now let me check it here it will throw error so no value was passed to the mandatory parameter i underscore b okay it is not bothering about i underscore a so it i mean it is checking the mandatory uh, input parameter for i underscore b okay so we need to pass i underscore b otherwise it will throw error, right so i will keep comment this one let me check it here it is not showing any error now right so in the same way if you pass the value there is no issue for i underscore a because this is optional if you pass something value then it will pick the value if you are not passing then it will not so it will the value will be space right in the same way in global class also we have some option like so if you select this one then this is optional okay if you don't pass any country key then also system will not consider it will not throw any error okay here i am not passing any here i am not selecting the check box the country key should be mandatory thing that is why i am not selecting this check box okay fine and uh, based on the country key i want to fetch something information okay so something information less uh, this is exporting parameter right so es underscore Mm, uh, something t double zero one. I am taking. Okay, and this is the exporting parameter. By using this country key, I will do this. I will I will write something calculation in the method implementation. And after that one, the method will give something output. That output should be es underscore t double zero one. And here exporting right. So what I will do here exporting. I am maintaining. Okay, importing and exporting. And the type is T double zero one. I am maintaining here. Okay, T double zero one. So what will happen here? Check it here. Yes. Now click on here. Methods is there. Okay. If you click on this methods, then it will go to the methods on the side. See, get data. So for this get data. uh parameters i want to see then we have to click on this parameters button then we can see the parameters importing exporting parameters we can see here and click on the methods here once again so it will go to the methods tab okay and i want to implement this method how can i implement this one click on uh, this method and click on source code here okay so this is the method implementation right so uh, here i want to get to know the importing parameter and exporting parameter how many importing exporting parameters are there those all things i want to see here the signature symbol is there you, you can click on the signature button then we can see here something i underscore country and es underscore tw01 two things are coming and here you can see something uh, symbol okay so the box is there before that box something arrow mark is i mean means something data is coming inside okay something data is coming inside the symbol is saying like that and this is the importing parameter okay and if you see this one something data is going outside okay by the, by using the symbol we can get to know something data is going outside so that is the exporting parameter and in real time we can see something naming standards also i means importing and e means exporting so it will depend on the company so they may use some different different names also naming standards they may, the naming standards will depend on the company 
Okay, as of now, I am maintaining I and E, I for uh, importing and E for exporting. Okay, uh, I will write a select query, select single and start from table zero one in table. into es underscore t001 here only one record i am fetching as of now i will go for internal table also and here uh, es underscore t001 is this one right now let me check it here activate it here it's activated okay it's activated now i want to call this method in the local program so, so what is the class name? The class name is ZCL underscore T001. So in this class, I'm maintaining something, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the method get data. Okay, in this get data, I'm implementing something data. I mean, I'm, I'm fetching something data. Okay, and this is the instance method and this is available in the public section, right? So I will go to the program. Okay, now click on create button. This is for testing purpose, uh, executable program, local object. Fine, fine. Now, what I will do, so whatever the object, I mean, uh, I need to create something object the class, right? A global class. So this is the class name. So JCL is good TWG. I want to copy it here. So I need to create something object in the program. So what I will do first, I need to declare the object, right? So data obj type ref to class name, right? Startup selection. We are not declaring any class here and we are not implementing any class in a local program. We are not doing anything. Okay, so I have created one global class by using global class. I am doing something here, and now I want to call the method by using the object here. Call method go to the and the method name is get data. Right, get data. Now I need to import export something values here. So I don't know. I need to go to AC24 transaction once again. I have to open the uh, class and method. I need to go to parameters then i need to copy and paste the importing and exporting parameters right so instead of that one so click on control plus space button it will show the name <clears throat> now click on shift plus enter then automatically it will show some importing and exporting parameters like this okay and one more thing here uh, in the class level go to the parameters so this is importing and exporting parameter and for importing parameter, it is asking something checkbox. This is the, I mean, optional or not. Okay. So if I select this one, then this is the optional. Importing parameter will be optional. If I don't select this one, then the importing parameter should be mandatory thing. And for coming to the exporting parameter, you can see something exporting here. So for the exporting parameter, it is in deactive mode. The optional is the deactive mode. We cannot select this one. Okay, we cannot select this one. So if it is in enable mode, then we can select. This is the I mean uh, optional or mandatory like that. We can select this one, but it is not. Uh, it is not asking here to select this one. Means by default, by default this will be optional. Okay, es underscore t w zero one. So this is the optional only. Okay, this is not the mandatory thing. So that is why I am calling the method in the local program at the time. I underscore country is coming in the active mode and uh, importing parameters are in commenting because these are the optional things. That is why it is coming in the commenting. Okay, now I want to pass something country key here and the country key I'm giving something India. Okay, and uh, export importing parameters, right? So I will uncomment it and I will import the data into one work area. Okay. 
create a table zero one, and here I am maintaining something data. So we already discussed this about a data. No, abe uh, panhana concept. Okay, in uh, <clears throat> seven point abe seven point four version onwards, we can uh, use we can use the code like this. Okay, so at this time only the date the work area will declare and the data also will fill in a single line. Now I want to display the data. So how can we display the data? So by using the write statement. Work area T double zero one happen because work area T double zero one happen. UTXT string. Okay. Now let me check it here. Activate it. Okay. If I execute this program, then directly it will go to the uh, executable line. So from tenth line onwards, the executable lines are there. Okay. Before the startup selection, those all are the declaration part, right? So now I will keep the cursor on tenth line and click on execute button, right? And click on desktop three. And if I click on F5 button, then it will go inside of the method get data. Let me check it here. So, cursor came to the. Uh, I mean, uh, it is showing something. <clears throat> it is going to something down here. What is the error here? One minute. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, the uh, uh, there is a syntactic correct only, but uh, uh, something configuration issue is there. I will check with the basis team. Uh, see, I have checked in Google so. Here, do we have installed latest version of SAP node DB copied correction and collection? This is most of issues. My problem solved after installing mode DB copied runtime error object. Fine. Actually, uh, uh, the basis team has to install something. Uh, this one DBA copied correction, uh, collection something patch will be there, some SAP nodes will be there. So they did not install this one. That is why the error is coming like this. Okay. So uh, this is syntactically correct, and I will check with the basis team, and will and I will come back uh, on this one. Okay. So I mean, uh, so by using like this, what will happen? So the cursor come to tenth line, and if I click an F5 button, it will go to uh, get data method implementation and it will check the input uh, the i mean it will it will pick the input parameter i n square country i'm passing like i n and it will go to the t double zero one table based on that i n uh, country key it will fetch it will fetch the information one record it will fetch here because i'm mentioning here one work area so it will pick only one record and it will exporting okay it will export the uh, that value es and square t double zero one and now we need to import Okay, the class is exporting something value, something work area it is exporting. Now we need to import the work area. So I'm importing into work area T001 and I'm displaying the data by using work area T001 and bookers BUTXT. And now activate it. And I mean, this is activated only. And if I try to, if I'm trying to execute this one, then it is going to dump by calling the method. It is going to dump, right? So let me do one thing. <clears throat> so the class, uh, with the method, so this is the instance method. So instance method can call only, I mean, by using the object name, right? So let me try with static. Then how it will come into? I didn't check it in this system. So let me check it. This is a static one, right? And activate it. So this is activated. Now I will come to the program and here. So object is there. I will. I I don't want to call. From the object level, oh, what happened? Okay. 
now by using the class name i can call the method let me check how it is working it's working fine or not i didn't check it so the what is the class name the class name is cl right cl t001 and the method name is so i don't know method see in real time in the class you can maintain some 10 20 methods but we will go to uh, ac24 transaction and we need to find out the method name copy paste the name like that okay so not required like that click on control press button automatically it will show the list of the methods whatever available in that class okay now click on shift press enter automatically the method is picking and inputting expiring parameters are coming like this so i want to pass something country key as india so i am passing it in a single quotation and exporting parameters i am keeping it in uncomment and let me put the data into data of work at tw01 okay now let me check it so technically there is no error and activate it it is activated and click an execute button fine oh i think for object only it is coming okay i will check with the the basis team and i will try to install that dba cockpit something sap notes okay and at the same time i am using something so in place of that instance method i am changing to static method so static method can call by using the method uh, by using the class name or the object name right so by using the class name it is not showing any error okay so i will continue with static because the class should not disturb you so i will continue with static only and after after uh, installation of the, the dba cockpit i will i will come back to the uh, instance method okay fine i will keep the breakpoint here and click an execute button now click on desktop tree and click an f5 button so it will go inside of the method so inside of the method i am writing something search query on es underscore t001 this is the exporting parameter right so something value is coming and click on f8 button so the data is displaying like this okay but this is a single record and i want to display all the records okay all the records so what i will do so first of all i will go to the table level t001 Click on, I mean, table contents here on the land one is India and click on execute button. Okay, so a lot of records are available. Now, let me click on number of entries, total 844 records are coming here, right? So I will go for Germany. Let me check Germany and click on number of entries here, 13, 13 records are coming, okay? So from Germany, 13 companies are available in TW01 table. So I will use the Germany only. So and 13 records should come, right? So I will go to the table and where is this one? Uh, methods, right? The get data. In the exporting parameter, I need to change, right? So go to the parameters here. And here ES underscore TW01 is there. This is a structure, right? So I will go for ET. ET means table. Okay. Previously, ES I have mentioned. E for exporting and uh, S yes, for structure, but now ET I am mentioning. E, man, e means exporting and T for table. Okay, table type. And here, on click an upper button. Here, like it is coming like type, 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 type two, but. Uh, but it is, it should not be like this. Yeah, rename. ES underscore T001 is unknown. ET T001, no, fine, no issue. So the source code into table need to write. And here also ET I need to write. Right. Check it. ET T001 is not allowed here. Single not required, select star is required. Sorry, previously also I, I have done some mistake. 
okay i did not pass any input parameter here we need to pass something uh, where uh, land one is equal to i n square country n square country i need to pass but previously i did not pass it okay so at the time what happened it went to the tw01 table and it has picked the first value from the table and it has displayed so sorry for that one and let me check it here ettw01 is not the internal table fine actually what is happening click on yes here how can we uh, let me do like here i think it will not come let me check it here check enter enter and it's not accepting i think okay so what i will do i will create one table type so that is the only one way here so for creating something internal table so i will go for s11 transaction and i will go for something data type here and jtt underscore double zero one okay table type t double zero one i'm maintaining here and click on create button and i'm i'm creating something table type okay and click on enter button and the uh, uh, company information company info and the line is t001 by using the t001 this is a structure here t001 table structure i am maintaining and i am creating something in the table type and now check it s s activate it it's activated right now i will copy this table type and i will go to the method attributes so here i will go for type only okay i will go for type only and here instead of t001 i will i will pass the table type ttt and square t001 and click on save button okay fine there is no issue now jtt i am maintaining here okay table type and this is a custom one that is why j and table type tt i am maintaining under this i mean uh, from tw01 i am picking the field so tw01 i am mentioned here now i will go to the uh, source code once again see select star from tw01 into table et and square tw01 fine and where land one is equal to i and square country fine activate it it's activated now i will come to the program level here so the program is available here and this is the es okay but uh, i have changed it to et right so i will uh, remove it here i will remove it here and what i will do i will click on control plus space button and click on shift plus enter button automatically it will pick the data and here i am passing something germany e okay importing oh es estw01 is coming e, okay but uh, it should not be est001 it should be ett001 right so it is activated method is activated click on back button now once again click on activate button so click on back activate it so it is in active mode only but here est001 is coming but this is wrong here the ett001 should come so let me do one more time if you press enter oh how it is this is activated method and the parameters ett001 correct only ett001 and exporting parameter on jtt001 right and click on back click on source code so ett001 only is coming here and here also i am maintaining the data into ett ett001 only 
Yeah, correct. Exactly. Okay. So, so jersey L P W zero one and can get data and one more time this button shift is enter yes T W zero one but this is wrong here how it is coming so. I will do one more thing. Uh, click on here. Pattern is there, right? So click on pattern, and here something object business part. Uh, I mean patterns is there, right? So click on enter button, and here instance. So here there is no instance. So the only class name is there. Jcl underscore t w zero one is the class name and the method name. So the method name. In, uh, click on the space uh, effort button. Only one method is to get data. So by clicking an effort button, automatically the method name is picking here. Click an enter button. Now let me check uh, call method. So fine, it is coming here. Okay, call method jcltw double zero one get data like this. Like this, it is coming. But uh, uh, previously I have tried like uh, jcltw double zero one get data. After that, one click on control plus space button shift enter. At that time, it was coming like es underscore t double zero one. I think it was not updated properly. So now it is coming exactly. Right now, here I am specifically I am passing like the money. So D I am passing here and E T T W zero one data L T underscore T W zero one. Okay, and I will loop the data here. Loop part L T T W zero one into work here T W zero one and end loop. Now let me check it here. Any syntactical error? Uh, I mean, work T W zero one is unknown. Is it okay? Fine. So I will maintain here data. Okay, because I did not declare the work area. So error is coming like this. I check it and activate it. There is no issue and execute the program here. Now, okay. Uh, I will close something screen here. So it is coming like this. Now I will go for new, this is a old debugging, okay? In the earlier days, the debugging screen was coming like this, but here uh, uh, we have habituated to the new debugging. So I will click on debugging and click on switch to standard web debugger. Okay, I'm clicking on this button. Now it will move to new debugging. So why it was coming like this previously, so I have opened something six screens or five screens. So if there is no extra screen, I mean uh, in a single session, it can allow only five screens or six screens. Okay, and I have opened all the screens. So it was not coming. I mean the debugger screen will go to one more screen. So it, there is no option for one more screen. That is why it was it went to the old debugging. Now I have closed one screen and uh, I have uh, clicked for new debugging. So it came like this in the new session. Fine, and uh, uh, the cursor is at 16th line. If I click on FF button, it will go instead of the method get data. I click on this button. So uh, it is coming to the inside of the method. Okay, and it is uh, fetching something data. And I underscore country, you can see D is coming, and E T underscore T W zero one by default zero values are there. If I click on FF button, the value will update here. So total 13 records are coming. We already checked in the table level. So for the Germany. Uh, total, this is a Germany land one, and we can see something 13 records are available. So same 13 records are coming into uh, this internal table here. Okay, now if I click an FF button, it will it will come back to the program once again. Okay, and we can see we are importing the value to the LTT001. So as usually it will display the data. Okay, you already know this one. So 13 records are coming here. Just I'm maintaining, I'm displaying something company number and company name only. I'm not maintaining any other information. So it is coming like this. <clears throat> okay. So fine. Uh, this is the way to write the standard, I mean, global class. This is not required now. Okay. Fine. 
Okay, here I am not maintaining any uh, declaration, class definition, implementation like that. In real time, we should go like this only. Okay, and if we create something, if we create something global class. Okay, so here global class I am creating a uh, get data method I am maintaining something static method public section and something parameters I am taking. So how it will save in the back end? Okay, how it will save? I have created something. Uh, I mean local class here, right? So class class name and uh, uh, I'm mentioning something method importing parameters I am taking and implementing like this I'm doing. So in this way, in this way, the uh, the global class will save in the back end. Okay. Uh, but in the front end, we can see something in the graphical way only. Okay, just adding the method name and what is the, what type of this method it is and visibility section like that. Okay, <clears throat> this is the AC24 transaction. Maximum we will work on AC24 transaction only, and in very rare cases we will go for low. Uh, very very rare cases we will go for uh, local classes. Okay, fine. Just practice up to here. So how can we create some global class and how can we call this one in the uh, SC38 program and do something in, in, I mean, importing parameter, exporting parameter, try with the uh, internal tables in the exporting parameters, means table type you need to create and table type name we have to pass to the exporting parameter, internal table name. Okay, and uh, check with instance and static methods. So these all things will work fine. Okay. And if you have any doubt, then please ping me as I provided the word sub number and some email ID I have mentioned in the last class. And you can comment in the YouTube also. I will respond in my free time. Okay. Fine. We will meet in the next class. Then bye. Jai Hind.